Fun, so I wanted to do a favourites video. I haven't done one of these in ages. Excuse my um, sort of, I don't know, I sound quite congested. And this past week I have had a bit of a cold. I think I said the previous weekend, today is actually Father's Day. The previous weekend is that I um, had a bit of a sore throat and basically all week I've been feeling pretty rough, to be honest. And I've had a full on home, home week, which has been quite nice to kind of recover. Um, yeah, so this video is gonna be kind of like a, a mixture of favorites, just things that I've put together that I have been using, loving for the past few months. And I just wanted to sort of share them with you and tell you, you know, why I have been really loving them. So I'm gonna start off with one item of clothing, which is my trench. Um, this is my Gap trench coat, which I think I've had this for about two years now, maybe two and a half years. Um, I have probably worn it not loads and loads over the years. It's kind of one of those pieces that it's best not to wear in the rain because it doesn't have a hood and it's not necessarily that waterproof. Um, and obviously you can't really wear it through the winter because it's just not gonna keep you warm. So it's definitely a spring piece. But I have been wearing this quite a bit and it's nice to dress up an outfit even if it's really, really casual, just with a pair of Converse and then sticking a nice beige trench over the top. This one actually is from Gap. Um, but you can get them from anywhere. I actually got this really, really cheap. They do uh, reduce them and uh, put them in the sale quite frequently. This one was £60 down to like, I think it was £20. And it's just a really great shape. Um, it's a long one as well. I might try and insert a clip of me wearing it, but it has a, a waist belt that you can kind of use. Sometimes I tie it at the back. Um, yeah, I have been really enjoying wearing this. So I have been enjoying a couple of books. I asked for a couple of book recommendations. If you have any other um, book recommendations, please let me know books that you've loved and enjoyed. If you feel like putting them in the comments, that'd be really, really helpful because, um, yeah, sometimes it's really hard to know what to read. I definitely think um, I need to get a Kindle. Someone mentioned me that I should get one, even just a basic black and white one, because um, sometimes just buying books can be generally expensive. Um, I always try and get them from the eBay store. Um, I can't remember what it's called, it might be World of Books or something, but they're kind of used anyway. Um, and they're only about two-ish pounds, but I know on the Kindle they're still generally a lot cheaper. And it saves having like wadges of books. But anyway, I finally finished Behind, Behind Closed Doors by um, B.A. Paris. I will link it in the description. Really, really good. Kind of a little bit of a naff ending. Let me know if you agree. But I was kind of expecting a little bit more from it right at the end. Um, and then it just cut it off. Um, but yeah, generally the book was really gripping. It was a really, um, it was a really kind of like easy read. You kind of, I was so zoned into it that I didn't really want to put it down. So I read it quite quickly once I had the chance. And then the book that I'm currently reading, which I'm only about, I think maybe 10 chapters in, is The Courage Tree by Diane Chamberlain. Um, someone actually recommended um, this lady like the author to read from because she's has really good books and actually the reviews are really really good so I thought I would choose this one so far so good so um yeah I've been enjoying just reading just generally having some time out and reading before bed and I've had I found that it's actually made me feel a lot more relaxed and helped me switch off a lot better because sometimes if I'm on my phone on my laptop I find that my head is constantly thinking and I can't sort of switch off and sometimes I don't usually get a good night's sleep. But I've been trying to read a few chapters a night and um, it's really been helping actually me to just to relax and unwind and even in the bath and stuff. So um, yeah, I've just been enjoying reading, which is, you know, sometimes it's really hard to focus. I think, especially as a parent, like if you don't have that chance just to sit down and have that quiet time, um, I suppose bedtime is probably the best time to do it because the children are in bed and you can just, you know, zone out. That's what I like to do. Okay, so a couple of beauty items. Um, I have been loving the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower. I bought this a couple of months ago. It's probably about this much left. There's not much left. Um, it takes a little while to pick up. Um, you ba I was really sceptical when I first bought this. I only bought it because it was on offer. I bought a Gradual Tanner as well with it. 
um, there was some sort of deal on in Boots and even the lady at the counter said this stuff was amazing and I read the reviews, this is why I went for it because I read reviews on the Boots website first and um, it really does work which is crazy. It takes, because it's gradual, it does take um, about three or four goes a week to start building that turn up. Um, and basically what you do is you have your normal shower, do your hair, wash your body and then you apply this. You slather it all over your body while you're wet. You hang around, what I usually do, I tip my sh either turn it off or tip my shower up and just hang around for three minutes and then you wash it off but with no soap so you don't obviously rinse off the whole tanning process. You, I, I don't know, a lot of people said on reviews that you can't smell the tanning um, scent. You can definitely smell something, you know, that there's a, a linger of some sort of tanning agent in it, but it isn't bad at all. Um, if you generally smell it, it smells just really floral and really pretty. Um, and yeah, I have, just have been really enjoying this. Um, it gives a really streak-free, natural looking tan without being harsh, orangey, any sort of crazy um, hand marks or anything. It's just really, really natural. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying that. So a couple of moisturisers I've been using. So this one is actually nearly finished. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blend Soothing Hydrating Lotion in Delicate Oat with Almond Cream. Dry sensitive skin, no parabens, um, looks like that. Really love it, it smells amazing, really moisturising. But the new one that I've picked up is the um, for very dry skin, I haven't really got dry skin but I just like to feel quite nourished and moisturised you know, I have quite normal skin I'd say, uh, this one's more, um, it's got the olive uh, sign on, so it's slightly more, it says non greasy, non sticky, um, with extra virgin olive oil, it's just really really rich and I love the fact they're pumps, Sometimes I hate dipping my hand in pots because you just get up your nails and stuff like that. Um, the fact they're in pumps just makes um, applying lotion after the shower just a breeze. And they rub in really nicely, they're really affordable and yeah, I just have been enjoying the Garnier range anyway so they both smell really good as well. So also in the shower, just occasional, I probably only use this like once a week, a little bit sparingly because one, it's kind of a little bit more pricey um, and two, it's generally quite rich and it's a little bit time consuming and can be quite messy. But this is the Origins um, Ginger Body Scrub. It looks like this, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, looks like that. You only need such a small amount just for all over your body. It leaves like oily, nourishing, amazing sort of like, not film, but just just an amazing feeling when you come out of the um, shower. Slightly um, waterproof texture, um, but generally it's an exfoliator, it's really good, it's great if you're obviously fake tanning and stuff. Um, yeah, I really have been enjoying that. It smells so good as well. The ginger just is such a really nice hit. I have been using this mainly on Saturday mornings, just when I have a little bit more time um, and I just want to have a little bit of a, like a pamper session on a Saturday morning because we don't have to rush to sort of be anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to just skim over a couple of um, skincare products that I've been using. So I haven't really been wearing makeup that often at all and my skin, because my skin has been so good, which is um, quite unheard of for me. You know I've battled with acne for so many years and, you know, I still get the occasional like hormonal, hormonal breakout, but generally my skin has been so good. Um, so the things that I've been using which I believe have been really helping my skin is the Lizelle range. So I've been using the Cleanse and Polish, um, this one is the Rose and Lavender. I think generally they're all good but this is one of the newer ones. Um, I've been using this morning and night pretty much um, and yeah for a few months now and it's really 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 helped my skin. It's just really gentle and just keeps my skin really clear. I've been using the moisturiser which is the normal combination. I love the scent of this, it just smells so good. And it just, um, I don't know, it just, it doesn't break me out. I, I still used to, anyway, used to really struggle with moisturisers because they used to just break me out like crazy. Uh, but this one's really, really nice. And the pot isn't big as well so it just lasts ages. And then the thing that I've been using at night time, which I need to get some more of because I've nearly run out, this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It's very um, hydrating at night, it's an oil, but 
it has worked wonders on my skin. It's made it look a lot more revived and brighter and clearer. It doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. It's just really, really nice. It's just annoying that it's so expensive, but um, yeah. It has amazing reviews as well. Okay, so last couple of items. So this is just a little pot, but basically um, I've been using coconut oil a lot in my hair recently. And um, you can tell my hair is really, really starting to grow loads. Um, and I was tempted, I think I said previously, I was, was tempted just to have a full on cut and have it bobbed and just that sort of thing. But I've, I had last year I had my hair cut quite short and I loved it, but I just feel like this year I want to start growing it back and just, I don't know, I've been enjoying just experimenting with hairstyles and just being able to put it up a lot more easier. Um, I also haven't dyed my hair since, I want to say January, so um, I do actually have quite a bit of grey, so I will probably have to um, at some point put some things through it, but it's been quite nice to actually watch it grow out and um, see my natural sort of mousy colour come through and not be have it so harsh because usually I'm quite dark dark brown when I dye my hair um, and sort of the sun is naturally sort of bleaching it itself um, but yeah coconut oil has been such a good one I just have a little pot here that I just rub in the ends of my hair before bed or um, when I get out of the shower when it's damp it just really nourishes it and then I just like rub it all over my hands as well because it's quite nice um, so I've been loving a bit of coconut oil I've also been enjoying obviously I'm um, gymming um, a few times a week um, I love the Nike dry fit leggings, I'm obsessed with these, I actually do need some more. So I have the dry fit ones which are kind of more like spandexy, um, and they fit, they look tiny but honestly they stretch so well and they just hold everything in. Um, so I've got those and I also have the sort of, um, these are more like the cotton material that you can wear more daytime, I wear these both for gymming anyway. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. I need to get some more. I'm going to go to the Nike outlet in Portsmouth at some point this week because I need another pair badly. Um, they're just the most comfiest things to wear while, while running or just doing any sort of exercise. So I love those. And then lastly, I'm going to show you my handbag that I've been using non-stop. Absolutely love it. This is um, a little backpack. So I wanted to sort of invest in a backpack I was mainly, when I was looking online, I was mainly looking and had in mind a sort of mum backpack style for like over the summer. So I wanted something that was quite practical, that I could throw water bottles in, snacks, you know, just the usual mum essentials. Um, obviously my two aren't babies anymore so I don't need anything too giant. But I wanted something that I still really like the look of but it was useful. And I came across this bag from Orla Keeley. Um, I really like the fact that it had straps, like adjustable straps, so you could whip it on your back if you wanted to, but you could also carry it like on your arm or just hold it um, and let it be just a normal kind of handbag without it going on your shoulder. Although I wear it like this quite a lot. Um, it's a really great size. I love the um, pocket at the front because it just holds like, you know, just those little essentials and mobile that I usually stick in the front. And then inside's actually really, really spacious. Um, there's loads of little pockets. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love this bag. I'm sure it's like, kind of like an oil cloth. The, the main thing that drew me to it was the color. I really love yellow anyway, and I just love the color. Um, they do have it in a couple of others. They do have it in their, um, they do it having the black and white, I think, you know, with the, the black with the white flower. And then they also have it in their um, usual sort of all like Healy, like multicolored retro style, I suppose, colors. Um, but this is one that really drew me to it. And um, yeah, slightly on the prices side for a handbag, but I have used this to death. And honestly, it still looks brand new. <clears throat> There's no marks on it. I pretty much have used it every day to it and it still looks pristine and brand new. Um, it's wipe clean as well so you don't have to worry about like leather spoiling or um, anything sort of scratching or marking it because you can just wipe it off which is really really handy. I believe if you're looking for like cheaper versions, Kath Kidson definitely are 
in that range of oil cloth bags they have tons um, but yeah I absolutely love this and I am slightly obsessed with it because I use it pretty much every day um, yeah so that is pretty much my favorites I really hope you've enjoyed this video uh, a couple of things that in general life that I've been doing recently I have had a bit of a break from YouTube if you haven't noticed I've just been I've been feeling a little bit rough to be honest um, I still am a little bit rough, I've got a real horrible tickly cough right now and um, I'm still really congested and like mucusy, which is horrible. Um, but I've been doing quite a bit of painting at home, just getting bits and bobs down around the house which is something that just needs to be done. Um, also our garden's growing really well, um, we've been trying to get the garden sorted and the pool's done and we've just been enjoying um, I've got, I've been really enjoying just getting stuff done and just having some proper like DIY mum time and it, I find it really relaxing which is um, really really good and it makes the time go really fast as well. So um, yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, I'll try and link everything below and let me know if you've got any video requests that you want to see, I'm not sure what you want to see at the moment. Um, yeah and I hope you've had a good week and a good Father's Day today. Um, it's a shame it's raining, at least it's raining here now anyway. Um, yeah, so I will catch up with you soon.